Companies like Boeing and Blue Origin are revitalizing the business of space. SpaceX has made landing rockets look like routine. We're seeing real manufacturing right here at Kennedy Space Center, and the pace of innovation is just taking off. Now, New 6 Space expert Eric Von Anken is here at Kennedy Space Center as well. But he went to California, where a cutting-edge company is 3D printing rockets, Eric. Is that right? Ginger, it's called Relativity Space, which is relatively new as a company, but by no means it's new as a rocket building company. These guys are largely, and gals, we should say, are former SpaceX engineers. They're going to launch over there at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with a rocket that they are printing with the world's biggest 3D printer. This is Stargate. And this is Jordan Noon. Both are setting records. Stargate is the world's largest 3D metal printer, and Noon is one of the world's youngest rocket scientists to start a successful rocket building company. He builds them with a printer that needs its own two-story storehouse. The majority of the printers on the market are about one cubic foot in size, you know, as far as the parts that can come out of them. This one's a small building, you know, I, I'm standing in it right now. What's different about Stargate is that it prints entire sections of the rocket, not just small parts like other 3D printers. This one makes the rocket engine nozzle out of one piece at one time, pieces as big as 15 feet long that are more reliable because they have fewer moving parts. We target under a thousand parts for our rockets. For example, the engine you saw has just three parts on it, where traditionally that can have up to 3,000 parts, and all of that is due to the printing, and that all leads into that cost and lead time reduction. Noon says he'll be able to build a rocket from scratch to space in 60 days. He'll call it the Terran 1, Terran meaning of the Earth, because it prints with materials of the Earth, namely aluminum. For now, 3D printing on Mars is going to be a bit of a different challenge. Ellie Fu is the metal expert or metallurgist here at Relativity. A couple of spools will, will make you a small uh, pressure vessel tank thing, yeah. She's studying how to accomplish Relativity's ultimate goal, to put a printer on the moon and then Mars to print parts for missions without having to wait for them from Earth. I think the reliability of actually moving to 3D printing will help human spaceflight, you know, because you're removing the potential error of humans. David Giger and Elifu are both former SpaceX engineers, like their young boss. This is one of our 3D printed rocket engines. Jordan Noon is just 26 years old, already getting the attention of NASA. Relativity announced last month that will also build its Terran 1 rocket at NASA's Stennis Space Center in Mississippi and launch the rocket later this year at Pad 16 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Roger and Stan, go for landing, 3,000 feet. The Apollo Lunar Descent engines were tested there back in the day, and we're really excited to build on top of that heritage. In honor, an incredible accomplishment for a company that started only four years ago with just two employees in a warehouse with the L.A. airport on one side and actor Keanu Reeves's Kung Fu studio on the other. That is absolutely true, by the way. In fact, when we were out there and we were kind of close to that Kung Fu studio, somebody from inside that studio came out, seemed a little bit aggressive because he thought we were paparazzi. He said that he was getting a VIP coming there to train shortly after we were leaving, so he was concerned about that. We said no. That's not what we're there for. Never found out who that star was. Uh, again, the relativity launching on pad 16 over the Air Force Station, but they're first renovating it right now. They say they got a lot of work to do. They got to clear off the brush, Ginger, because that pad hasn't been used in such a long time. Yeah. My goodness. Well, I'll tell you what I wasn't doing at 26, building rockets from a 3D printer. Eric, that's a fantastic story. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that.